Thousands of Buffalo students returned to the classroom on Monday. High school seniors, students in pre-K through second grade, and some students with special needs will return to class for the first time in almost a year. Tonight, Galat Malamid shows us some of the questions and concerns that were shared with the school district. Parents and caretakers had questions for the Buffalo School District before many of their children go back into the classroom. Milestone date for the Buffalo Public Schools. A common question was COVID-19 testing. Superintendent Dr. Kreiner Cash says that will continue despite the lifting of Erie County's cluster zone. Testing is not required for schools outside cluster zones. We continue to stay at least through February, uh, stay on course with testing uh, at that 20% uh, level that, that we had. As for what happens if a school has a positive case. A lot will depend on the contact tracing information and how prevalent it is and how many people have been in touch with that positive case within a school. The district says one case does not mandate closing a school. Some other answers to parent questions. At least one nurse must be in every building. Devices need to be brought to school every day. And there will be no mask breaks except for eating or drinking and pre-K nap time. BTF President Phil Remore says the union still has safety concerns. Basically it's sanitation, uh, the availability of um, the correct amount of space, uh, and also the protocols that have to be used in the buildings. In a statement, the district says it has ample PPE and cleaning supplies. It adds the BTF issues have been largely resolved. I investigate, I have staff look into it, and if it's so, we resolve it. The BTF and the district will meet Thursday. Remore says the union is prepared to go to court if its concerns are not adequately addressed. Cash says any decision on when more grades could return won't be made until after February break. In Buffalo, Gilat Mohammed, 7 Eyewitness News.